Hey everybody, and welcome to episode 2 of the next season of War Machines. So, in the last episode, the first 12 robots made their debut, including this season's defending champion. After their opening round matchups in the Redemption Rumbles, 8 of those 12 clinched their spot and did the semi-final for this group, which will be settled today. Let's officially review which of those 8 robots made it to this point, and the bracket that will be settled here in today's episode. Here it is. So we'll start with the left side, and kind of as expected, one of the favorites to win this one is this season's defending champion, Hypershock, with that nasty vertical spinner. They have a lot of tough cookies to take out if they want to get to that grand final. One of those being their opponent, Extinguisher, Swiss Army robot with a vertical spinner and a hammer configuration. Then right down below, we got a flipper battle between Odyssey and Vanguard that should be fun to watch. Then over on the right side, Monsoon, another devastating robot in this bunch, is going to be taking on Texas Twister, a nasty horizontal spinner, who gave Hypershock a good run for their money, but did have to go through the Redemption Rumble where they dominated it. Then right down below, Malice and Red Devil, two more rookies that have shown quite a bit of potential, especially in their opening round matchup. So, one of these robots, whoever is the one to win three fights tonight, is going to be it's going to automatically get a spot in the grand final. As I said in the information episode, it is important to make at least the top four because you're not out yet. If you have managed to make the top four, there will be a last chance episode at the near the end of this season before the grand final that will determine a lot more spots in the grand final. But it's much better to get the automatic spot. So anyway, I can't wait to I can't wait to find out who it is that's going to claim that grand final spot. So, let's go ahead and talk about our first matchup of the episode. To lead off the episode, we have a battle between two rookies to this season of War Machines and two fellow BattleBots contenders. We have Malice with their horizontal drum spinner, who are going to take on Red Devil, their overhead saw. Both of them managed to use perfect strategy and good configuration setups to their advantage to manage to win their way through their opening round matchup, but now they will have to go through each other. Both of them have some pretty effective weaponry and some pretty powerful drive trains, but both of them do have some exposed areas that the other is certainly going to want to target. And from what I'm hearing down the pits, both teams are going to be using the exact same configuration they used in their last match. We're going to see Malice using a lighter drum spinner, but then going to be adding forks to their robot. Well, Red Devil's going to have a thick plow that they're going to be looking to shove in Malice's face to slow down that drum spinner and leave an opening for some attacks with that saw. Anyway, I'd say let's go ahead and get right to this matchup and find out who's going to be the first one to advance to the top four of this semifinal. Time for this match to begin. Malice getting that smart speed. Red Devil, the boxers, both brought to be in the middle. Malice attacking that front while Red Devil just feeding that plow in there, dropping the saw every once in a while. Malice knocked off balance. They are now inverted, meaning those forks are going to be ineffective for Malice until they can get right side up here. Red Devil needs to take advantage of that. They're continuing to shove that plow right in there, trying to slow down that horizontal spinner as much as they can. Dropping that saw every once in a while here. See if Malice took some fork damage there in the process. Red Devil just lost a piece of the plow right there. Malice starting to do some damage with that spinner. Malice now right side up. Good couple of shots there to the top of Malice from Red Devil. But more pieces of the plow are starting to come off. Damage is really starting to stack up on Red Devil here in the first minute of this match. Malice is definitely taking a little bit of damage themselves here. More pieces of that plow coming off of Red Devil. Now is clearly the more effective horizontal spinner between them and the horizontal spinner Red Devil fought in their last match right there. But that plow is doing a good job of protecting Red Devil from some of those exposed areas. Red Devil with the saw in the down position, I wonder if they're going to try to go for a weapon on weapon shot there, try to break Malice's weapon. That might not be a bad strategy since Red Devil is taking, has already been taking a lot of damage, but now they got to be careful of those treads right there because Malice's big target is almost certainly going to try to disable those treads one by one. They've gotten a fair number of shots on them already. 
part of that saw has come off of the Red Devil right there, as well as another chunk of that plow right there. So, Red Devil's defenses are continuing to get lowered right there, as Malice continues to do more and more damage to Red Devil. Malice is continuing to stack up the points right there, and there goes the rest of that saw! Red Devil is now without a weapon for the rest of this match right there. We have a little less than a minute to go in this one. Now it's going to try to get to go for the kill here. Just continue to make statement after statement for themselves as to why they are a huge threat in this bracket. There goes a tread right there. What can Red Devil really do here? They lost their weapon. They lost a tread. Malice is pretty much just going in for the kill, showing that that horizontal drum spinner is just an absolute force to be reckoned with. Such a powerful weapon, and Red Devil on control board, and that's going to do it! Malice wins and advances! One thing to say after that, after a match like that, Malice's weapon is brutal. Red Devil, I think they had the right idea about this one, coming with that plow configuration, and Box Rush Malice tried to slow down that spinner, but eventually it was just too much. The damage just really started to stack up on Red Devil in this one. Malice really started breaking apart the plow, broke apart the weapon, and then eventually got a tread as well, which just left Red Devil helpless at Malice's mercy, and Malice eventually managed to get the control board and managed to get the W. A brutal victory, but an absolute statement win for Malice, as we'll see Malice in the next round, and let's go ahead and get to the next matchup. Our next match, we have a flipper battle between Custom Build, Odyssey, and Valbot's applicant, Vanguard. Despite the damage they took in that match, Vanguard had a high quality win in their opening round match with Mini Spinny 2 through the use of that flipper, so I expect them to kind of be the favorite in this match. But on the other hand, Odyssey did not have a very quality victory in their match with Raging Moustache, as we didn't see, get to see much from that side hinge flipper they possess, as well as the fact that their driving was a little shaky. They'll certainly be trying to improve upon that, and their speed is certainly one thing to not underestimate about this robot. We always love seeing flipper battles on this channel, so almost certainly this match will come down to who wins the ground game, who outdrives the other, and who controls a big chunk of this match. So anyway, let's go ahead and get on to this battle. Time for this match to begin, and Odyssey already winning the ground game early on and flips Vanguard. And now Odyssey already using that side hinge flipper right there, knock Vanguard off balance. Odyssey out driving Vanguard starts off, and we get a flip right there, and another toss from Odyssey right there. Odyssey already with more flipper usage than what we saw in their last match of Raging Moustache. Definitely a lot better driven, a lot better controlled in this one. Maybe maybe there was just some issues with their drive in their last match of Raging Moustache. Vanguard on the run, trying to get the breather right there, but Odyssey just on them once again. That robot is fast and definitely is showing it. Not giving Vanguard a break, continuing to knock Vanguard over. Excellent driving from Odyssey to start this one. Another toss right there, but Vanguard manages to land right side up. Not before Odyssey took them into the rails here. Odyssey continuing a great start in this one for the first minute. This first minute has just been all Odyssey. Vanguard just hasn't been able to get underneath Odyssey to be able to use that flipper on them. Odyssey, another flip on Vanguard. What improvements you've seen from Odyssey in this one. Just continuing to use that lightning speed and better driving to be able to knock Vanguard off balance when it's control now. Vanguard with a near, near flip right there, but Odyssey manages to get out of there quickly. And on Vanguard again with a couple more flips right there. Definitely not the more effective flipper, I feel, because I feel Vanguard has the more powerful flipper between the two of them, but that speed and maneuverability plus excellent driving as well as the fact that they seem to have the better ground game between the two of them is really paying off in this one because Vanguard isn't even being given an inch in this one. One minute left to go, Vanguard's going to need to get something going and fast in this one because they are not winning this fight right now. Odyssey is just stacking up on points right now as they have Vanguard pinned in the corner right there. Vanguard needs to get out and fast, but Odyssey is just denying that from happening. Excellent control from Odyssey in this one. 
where was this robot in their first round match with Raging Moustache? This is awesome to see right there. And now they're taking Vanguard into the onto another corner, just giving them a giant tour of the arena practically. 30 seconds left to go, and it's just been all Odyssey in this one. We're going to need to see something big from Vanguard, maybe a knockout, but that's I don't know if that's going to happen, though, because Vanguard isn't, isn't really a robot that dishes out damage to their opponents, exactly. 15 seconds left to go in here. Odyssey just continue to dominate with that side-hinged flipper in their drive in this one, and knocking Vanguard over again as we are about to head to a judge's decision in this one. One that I expect will probably be pretty easy to call. I'm sure we all have one big question after that match. Where was this from Odyssey in their first round match right there? Odyssey just outgrown, outflip, and was clearly the winner of the winner of the ground game the majority of the time right there. And just dominated this match right there. That speed clearly helped Odyssey a lot in this one, because they were able to catch Vanguard from the sides, from the backside, get them into the corner over and over again, and then they even got to showcase the power of that side hinge flipper. While it definitely was not the most effective weapon, as Vanguard's flipper probably was, uh, it certainly helped them keep Vanguard off balance and helped them just absolutely dominate this map. Excellent showcase from Odyssey, and let's go ahead and hear what the judges had to say, even though I think we probably all know who's probably going to be the one advancing to the next round. Judges votes are in, and we have a unanimous decision. The winner is... Odyssey! So, I think that's kind of what we all expected to hear right there. Odyssey just absolutely dominating the match from the start to the finish, showing that that first match, all the issues that they had may have been sorted out, and definitely will be a robot to watch out for for whoever they take on the next bracket, whether it's the defending champ or if it's Extinguisher. Anyway, let's go ahead and get on to the next match. For the next match, we will have Monsoon taking on Texas Twister, two fellow Battlebots contenders. Monsoon with a pretty straightforward and relatively dominant victory over fellow vertical spinner Extinguisher in their opening round matchup, while Texas Swister had to go through the redemption round after that brutal loss to Hypershock, but then responded with a brutal victory over Cracked Sword and Huntsman. So, so yeah, and now they get to draw another vertical spinner. So I expect we're going to see a lot of weapon-on-weapon -weapon action between these two robots. And I think this is going to come down to basically who can hold up to all the impacts better between the two of them. Regardless, I am excited to see this matchup. And I'd say let's go ahead and find out who will be taking on Malice in the next round. Time for this match to begin. Both robots getting their weapons up to full speed, and a huge hit by Monsoon that pops Texas Twister up into the air. Not sure if Texas Twister wants to go weapon on weapon, but they seem to kind of be inviting it in this one. The more action right there, weapon on weapon action, a couple of shots to the body there by Monsoon. Just to knock Texas Twister off balance. We got some more shots right there. I was expecting a lot of brutal spinner action two of them, and that's certainly what we're getting so far in this one. Another big hit by Monsoon that pops Texas Twister up into the air once again. Another shot there from Monsoon, like they're going to try to go for the tires. Huge hit right there from Monsoon that pops Texas Twister up onto their backside. Monsoon probably needs to take advantage of their stability problems. That's what Hypershock was able to do when those two fought. And, but Monsoon just sticking with weapon on weapon. Continuing to give Texas Twister a load of airtime in this one. But oh no! That last weapon on weapon shot, Texas Twister lost the entire spinner. Looks like as soon as Texas Twister landed, it just fell right out. So Texas Twister has now been reverted to a push bot, basically. And so far, now Monsoon just continued to land some shots. They got one on the backside. Huge hit right there! That is the most airtime Texas Twister has ever gotten and dang they continue 
to, to continue to try to grind away at Texas Twister. They had a, they had good push pop moment right there, but definitely still in Monsoon's favor here, who has now knocked off an entire set of wheels. Texas Swisser really coming apart. What can they really do in this one? A little over a minute left to go here. Can Texas Swisser just hang on in this one? Monsoon is looking for that knockout shot, and there it is! Monsoon win by KO! Monsoon clearly was inviting weapon-on-weapon -weapon action from the beginning. It looks like their goal was not just to go for the wheels, but also disable the horizontal spinner. I was definitely a bit nervous about that strategy, at least when starting to watch this match, but then it clearly paid off in the end right there, because eventually, while they were able to land some heavier and heavy hits, they were dislodging that spinner time and time again as time went through, as we kind of saw later in this match. Because we saw this shot right here, the spinner just pops right out, and then Monsoon just had their way with Texas and Switzer for the rest of the match, just continuing to grind away at that robot until they managed to land a kill shot. Great win by Monsoon. We will see them in the next round where they will take on Malice. Anyway, let's go ahead and get to the last match of this first round. So for the last match of the first round of the semifinal, we have the defending champion Hypershock going up against the Swiss Army bot Extinguisher. So Hypershock is dominant in the first round despite losing their vertical spinner partway into the match with Texas Twister, but then proved that Hypershock is more than just weapon. And what that helped them win the whole thing last season. Their opponent is Extinguisher, Swiss Army Bot. We saw the vertical spinner once in the last episode in their loss to Monsoon, but they responded with a dub in the in the redemption round, which they used the hammer for. So Extinguisher definitely has options, and both of them are very effective in their own ways. So we'll have to figure out what they use. From what I am hearing, Extinguisher is planning to bring out the vertical spinner once again for this one. So, one thing these bo robots both have in common, they have pretty effective weapons, but they both have exposed wheels. So I imagine both of these robots are probably going to be trying to target those exposed wheels, and whoever gets to them first is going to be the one to win this match. I'd say, let's go ahead and find out who is going to be taking on Odyssey in the next round. Time for this match to begin. Hypershock with an early charge here and popping Extinguisher up. Extinguisher with an early flip. Hypershock landing some early blows in this one. But Hypershock ran themselves in the wall, flip themselves. Extinguisher knocks off part of a wheel. Could the defending champions run be ending here if Extinguisher keeps this up? Hypershock needs to right themselves. Extinguisher needs to try to take advantage of this. Laying a little shot to the top right there, but not the heavy shot they need to land. Huge hit right there, and off came part of Hypershock's vertical spinner. However, it looks like the brunt of it's still there, and Extinguisher just lost a wheel right there. Hypershock just needs to self right right now, but so far, that is not working out for them. They tried going weapon on weapon, but Extinguisher kept them upside down, and now Hypershock flips Extinguisher again right there. Hypershock finally right side up and have a little bit of redemption in mind. Another wheel was knocked off of Extinguisher, who now has drive on only one side now. Hypershock with a bit of a bounce back from that series of blows that Extinguisher managed to land. Hypershock gotta be careful to not flip themselves over though, because right now, that's what's hurting them right now. Extinguisher popping them up again here. Extinguisher trying to make their way over to Hypershock to take advantage of that, really struggling to do so here. Hypershock back on the attack once again, right side up. Sounds like what they need to do first was really just go over to the walls, use those to help themselves right. Huge hit again by Hypershock to flip Extinguisher over, trying to go for those other two tires on Extinguisher, try to finish this thing, thing off. And there goes another wheel right there, and Extinguisher, they can't move now! Extinguisher, that we that last wheel is up into the air, so Extinguisher unable to move. Hypershock charges and accidentally almost flips themselves. Hypershock, better be careful not to take yourself out. I know you're the defending champion, but lots of these robots can seriously are seriously able to give Hypershock a run for their money, as we've seen like all round so far. 
which they hybrid up wanted that last wheel and they got it there and now i think they're going to hang back here and let extinguisher get counted out good start by extinguisher but it sure is ending with hypershock winning the fight and advancing to the next round countdown going on extinguisher right now and hypershock has officially advanced Great back and forth start by both of these robots. The Hypershock was winning some of the early exchanges, but then early driving air nearly put Hypershock on the ropes, flipped Hypershock over, and left their sides open to some to some shots of the sides from Extinguisher. The Extinguisher started plucking off a wheel, and including basically to destroy part of the weapon on Hypershock, but that sure did not stop Hypershock, because as soon as they righted themselves, they started plucking off tires off Extinguisher until Extinguisher couldn't move any longer. Great win by Hypershock, and they advance to the next round. So now let's review the bracket. On the left side, we'll have the defending champion Hypershock, who will be taking on the custom built, the side hinged flipper Odyssey. And on the other side, we have two well known battle bots, Monsoon and Malice, who will be competing for the other spot in tonight's heat final. Who is going to get there? Let's find out, and let's get to our first matchup of the Final Four. For the first fight in the top four, we have two well-known battle bots. We have Monsoon and Malice. On one side, we got Monsoon with that vertical bar spinner. Two very dominant victories so far. Uh, and then their opponent is Malice. Horizontal drum spinner also has had two dominant victories so far in battle bots. Both of these robots have some pretty effective weaponry amongst themselves, but then both of them have exposed areas that the other is certainly going to be trying to target here. So I think this is going to come down to driving, and we're probably going to see quite a lot of weapon-on-weapon -weapon impacts between these two. So it might also come down to who can hold up to the other's punishment better between the other. All that will be determined in this match. I can't wait to see it, so let's go ahead and get right to it. Time for this match to begin. Both robots meet in the middle, and a weapon on weapon shot, a couple small jabs from Monsoon Spinner. I'm expecting we're going to see a lot of weapon on weapon warfare between these two robots. We have two massive weapons in the arena in this one. Surely this one's probably not going to go the full three minutes. A couple jabs right there from Monsoon, a good hit from Malice right there, that knocks off one of the forks on Monsoon. So. A little bit of damage on both robots so far. Some more weapon-on-weapon -weapon shots. Malice knocked off balance. Monsoon capitalizing very well on that. Lending some shots to the frame of Malice. See, part of the E-Tech cover just came off of Malice right there. And Malice responding with a couple shots of their own. And knocking off the other fork. But they are off balance once again. Monsoon lending some more shots right there. And Malice responding with a couple shots of their own. Pretty back and forth here. Lots of heavy shots being landed here. Definitely close so far. One minute into this match. Another couple of shots. More pieces of malice coming off there. Quite a lot of damage done on both robots. Who's going to take this one? A couple more pieces coming off of malice. Monsoon knocked back. That's a knockout. When you have two big spinners in BattleBots, such as the vertical bar spinner of Monsoon and the horizontal drum spinner of Malice colliding in the arena together, there's definitely going to be carnage, and we saw a lot of that. Quite a bit of damage done by both robots to each other, and a lot of weapon-on-weapon -weapon warfare. It definitely seemed like the brunt of this match was getting controlled by Monsoon. They had several opportunities where they were able to capitalize well on Malice being knocked off balance. But sadly, even though Monsoon was controlling the front of the match, it ended up being Malice who was able to hold up to the other's shots better. And apparently the shots they were able to dish out themselves, including lots of the weapon-on-weapon -weapon shots, was enough to disable Monsoon and win this match by a control board. Excellent win by Malice, and we will see them in the final. So for the other match of the top four here, we have Hypershock versus Odyssey. Hypershock very well known. They are the defending champion of this series. Nasty vertical spinner from Battlebots taking on Odyssey. First season here in War Machines. Had a very good victory in the last round against Vanguard. Definitely a lot better than their opening round match. 
with their custom built side hinge flipper. So I'm excited for this one because we got two very fast and very maneuverable robots here. And those fights are always exciting. Odyssey is surely going to be trying to avoid Hypershock's disc as much as possible and try to control the action with that side hinge flipper, while Hypershock is surely going to be going for those, those exposed wheels on Odyssey. I'm excited for this one, so let's get right to it. But before we get to this one, uh, might as well, if you have not seen Civilian Arc series Battlebots Annihilation, this is technically a rematch from that series. Because those two faced off in that series where Odyssey managed to get an out of the arena in order to get the victory over Hypershock. So in this match, Hypershock is surely going to be trying to get a little bit of revenge. Let's see if they can acquire it. Time for this match to begin. Odyssey with a charge right off the bat. Hypershock... Better be careful, Hypershock better not tip themselves over in this one. Odyssey trying to outmaneuver Hypershock, try to avoid that vertical disc as much as possible. Hypershock tips over right there. I think Hypershock accidentally gyroed over. Nice flip by Odyssey, but it put Hypershock right back upright, which is probably where Hypershock wants to be. It's worth mentioning this new version of Hypershock does not have a self-riding mechanism. So, uh, so they'll be having a harder time self-riding than they could the last time these two robots fought. Hypershock and Burry once again. Odyssey controlling the match. Well, we get, do have a piece off there. They gotta be careful of fall damage from Hypershock's vertical spinner. That weapon is still very dangerous even when Hypershock is upside down right there. Another charge by Odyssey. Not sure why they're going head on like this, but so far they're controlling the pace of this match really taking it to the defending champion nice flip right there from odyssey and that side hinge flipper right there odyssey doing a great job staying aggressive and controlling the match here the defending champion they need they need i can't believe i'm saying this but they need to get going here in this one we're, we're a little over a minute in nearing the halfway point and odyssey so far is dominating this match in my opinion we do have a little bit of smoke coming out of odyssey but I don't think that's really doing much for in Hypershock's favor, at least, because Ozzy is still charging in there. No fear. Continuing to just keep Hypershock off balance right there. Now, Hypershock upright. Ozzy tried to flip him back over, but just missed. And now Hypershock getting underneath and landed a couple shots at that disc. And so Odyssey lost a fork there that could make it harder for Odyssey to get underneath. Big hit by Hypershock that sent Odyssey all the way across the arena. Now Hypershock playing a couple more shots. Could this be the start of a comeback by Hypershock? We have a little less than a minute to go in this one. Some more bits of wheel came off of Odyssey. But so far now, they have Hypershock once again inverted and continuing to control this match. Another good hit, a couple of good hits by Hypershock right there. And now Hypershock trying to go after some of those other wheels. Another couple more shots to the underside and Hype Odyssey just lost an entire wheel right there. Odyssey now with three wheels, but they're still driving just fine. They're still managing to control bits of the match. A little less than 30 seconds to go. Hypershock is inverting once again. Odyssey taking them into the corner. Hypershock using the arena rails to self-right. But now, Odyssey takes another look and from Hypershock's vert right there. The front damage to Odyssey is taken. It's clearly costly. It's helped Hypershock quite a bit. But it's looking like we are going to have a judge's decision. And this, this one will probably be close. Good fight between these two robots. What a rematch we just got. What a rematch between these two robots. This was probably a, one of the closer judges decisions we've had so far during this season of War Machines, even if it is very early on into the, into the season. Credit to Odyssey for really taking it to Hypershock, controlling the match very early on, constantly upending Hypershock, knocking them off balance, and then using that to dictate the pace of the match. Hypershock got a fair number of shots into their own rebounding, Scoring some points in a flurry right there. Knocking off uh, bits of Odyssey's ground game. Knocking off a wheel or two here and there. There and everything. So in the Hypershock was definitely not out despite all the controlling the Odyssey was doing of Hypershock very early in this match. I suspect this is, could be a very close judges decision here. I definitely can't wait to hear what the judges had to say. 
And so, I think let's go ahead and hear what the judges had to say about this one. Find out who will be joining Mouse in the final. The judges' votes are in, and we have a unanimous decision. The winner is... Odyssey! It was a very close judges' decision between the two, but I think the judges got this one right. However, I would not have argued with the decision if the judges had scored it in favor of Hypershot. While they did take some big damage late in the match, Ozzy did do a great job determining the pace of this match and constantly upending Hypershock to control the match, which I think really helped, helped influence the judges in Odyssey's favor. While the defending champ has officially fallen, they are not out yet. They will take on Monsoon in a little bit for third place and an opportunity to fight for a grand final spot in the last chance tournament. But before we get to talking about that match, let's review the bracket for the final time tonight. After Malice and Odyssey's victories there in the final four, we will see a clash between the two of them for the first confirmed spot in this season's grand final. But before that, we have a third place match to settle. Let's go ahead and talk about it. The fight for third place and a confirmed spot in the last chance episodes. We have a vertical spinner battle between Hypershock and Monsoon, a showdown that did happen in BattleBots before. So both these robots coming off of losses in their in their previous round matchups, uh, both of them will be looking to redeem themselves after that and get one step closer towards a spot in a gr in the grand final. But these two will have to go through each other. These two robots are pretty similar designed, so I imagine we're going to try to see a similar strategy from these two. Try to win the ground game and attack those exposed areas on the other. That's probably going to determine the outcome of this fight, so let's go ahead and get to it. Time for this third place match to begin. And now we see an early charge by Hypershock. Monsoon off balance. Hypershock capitalizing on that, taking some shots as Monsoon ran the frame as a part of Hypershock's weapon went out, but that sure is not slowing the defending champion down here. Hypershock continuing to charge, grinding away at that frame on Monsoon right there, trying to do some damage, trying to get some of the internals on there and disable Monsoon as quickly as possible. Good shots by Hypershock right there. Those forks on Hypershock are doing a lot for that robot. Piece is flying off right there. I think Monsoon lost one of those forks right there. That's going to make it harder for Monsoon to get underneath Hypershock. But they're all they're having enough trouble already. Good hit by Monsoon right there. Turn with an eye right there. They got a couple shots like that one right there, right under the side of Hypershock. Monsoon clearly needs to avoid the front, and they have Hypershock inverted. Hypershock, this is how they lost in that match with Odyssey. They spent a lot of match inverted, trying to self-right, and that is what is happening right here. Hypershock now back up, got a little breathing room. Both bots go flying, Hypershock is inverted again, but Monsoon lands a shot which helps them self-right. Hypershock back on the attack, grinding away at Monsoon's frame once again here. here. What a back and forth fight we are seeing in this one. That's a knockout! So yeah, pretty close fight between these two, pretty back and forth. Hypershock winning the early exchanges, showing head on. Hypershock was definitely the lower to the ground robot and took advantage of that well. However, Monsoon got quite a few good shots in of their own after they started learning, the, learning to target the exposed sides on Hypershock. Managed to send Hypershock up into the air multiple times, but it wasn't enough for Monsoon. Because as soon as Hypershock got right side up, and got some breathing room, they went right to work and, and continuing to attack Monsoon, and that sure helped and lead, led Hypershock to the victory and the confirmed spot in the Last Chance episodes. We got one last match left to determine, and it is for a grand final spot in this season's tournament. First one, and it is between Malice and Odyssey, two rookie bots to this season of War Machines. So, on one side we got Malice, who's done great all season with victories over Huntsman, Red Devil, and Monsoon. 
that devastating drum splitter has caused a lot of carnage. But will it be enough for Odyssey, who had a rough victory over Raging Moustache, but bounced back with two phenomenal wins over Vanguard and Hypershock? So, I've heard Malice is actually going to go with a different strategy for this one. Instead, we're going to see Malice's big drum spinner, Big Red, instead of the Force. It sounds like Malice is not that confident they'll be able to win the ground game and win the control battle, so they're instead going to go with the heavy spinner and try to go for the knockout. Will it pay off for Malice? I'm really excited to find out, so let's go ahead and get to this fight. Time for this heat file to begin! Malice rams into a wall and Odyssey knocks him off balance to pay for it. Reminder, Malice is not going with the fork config for this one. Malice is expecting Odyssey would almost certainly win the control battle if Malice went with forks. So instead they're going to try to go for the knockout. And what better way to go for the knockout than go with their heaviest spinner, Big Red. The one that's likely to inflict the most damage of all the setups that Malice has. Odyssey so far knocking knocking Malice off balance pretty well. They gotta be careful of that spinner though, because that spinner has been landing some hits with every head-on shot that we've seen so far. I just saw a piece of a wheel come off of Odyssey right there. There is a little bit of smoke coming out of Odyssey, so that spinner has been connecting. That spinner definitely has a lot of reach to where it can connect with Odyssey quite easily in this one and try to inflict some damage and cut into the frame of that robot. Malice continuing to get knocked off balance. Odyssey is using that front hinge flip, side hinge flipper very well. I did see a piece come off. A couple more pieces coming off. I think those are parts of the lifter right there. Another piece came off. Look at the top of Odyssey right there. That is the lifter that has just been broken by Malice. I think Odyssey has lost their weapon for probably the rest of this match right there. We are approaching the halfway point in this match. Malice has been getting some good hits in here and there, but Odyssey is still, doing, still coming in as an effective battering ram, charging with that wedge to knock Malice off balance and control the match. While I think Malice has definitely been doing a lot more damage, including the fact that they disabled Odyssey's weapon, Definitely Odyssey has been the one controlling the pace of this match, so I probably still have Odyssey on top in this one right now. One minute left to go in this match. It's been pretty close so far. I definitely wouldn't want to be a judge if this one happens to go the full three minutes for sure. What a heat final we're getting between these two. These are two robots fighting hard for that grand final spot. Another bit of a tire came off right there from Odyssey. Malice is absolutely doing damage with that spinner for sure. So we continue to see more and more marks going into the top of Odyssey. Not to mention, they just lost an entire wheel after that last exchange right there. Some good shots by Malice there, despite the fact that Odyssey has been bodying them, controlling them very well in this match. Less than 30 seconds to go in this fight. Great match between these two. Very close fight that we are seeing right now. Close fight between these two, these two. Very technical, very tactical match. What a match we are seeing here. But Malice seals it with a KO. Welcome to the grand final. Malice with that control board KO. Probably better to get the knockout anyway, because I'm not sure if Malice would have won this match had, had it gone to the judges. They might have. I I didn't do a score of it myself, but I, regardless though, well played match. Seems like that strategy stuff paid off for Malice here. Odyssey definitely was winning the control match very easily in this one. Just using their ground game, using their front as a battering ram, but then Malice ended up being able to Malice threw that big spinner, destroyed the weapon, destroyed the tires, eventually got to the internals to seal the win. So, now let's recap EA. So, Malice has officially confirmed their spot in the Grand Final, whereas Odyssey, Hypershock, and possibly Monsoon will all have spots in the Last Chance episodes that will happen after all 16 heats are completed. So, next time... We will see Heat B, where the next 12 bots will officially make their debut 
and look to face off against each other in order to claim the second spot in the grand final. Quite a few returning robots in this group, including last season's runner-up, along with several rookies that are sure to give the former runner-up a serious challenge. So, that'll do it for this one. Thanks for watching this episode, and be sure to tune in next time for Heat B. Adios.